Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This right here is the my DL380 Gen 9, which I've been very eager to start using as a file server. But as you can see, because I have 12 large bays in front, I don't have any logical space where I can put my boot drive. And this is the flex bay that we're gonna install in it. So what the flex bay kit usually consists of is the uh, dual dual bay cage with the power cable, the data cable, and of course the uh, that little brace, the rear brace with the cutout in it. The screws are fairly uh, standard for an HP machine. The only ones you really need are these bad boys with the uh, with the little. Um, I don't know what to call these exactly, rubber washers or what it, or whatever. Sorry, English is not really a first language, but uh, these little screws that usually come with the kit uh, are not necessary because you could just reuse the ones that are on the machine itself. So that being said, let's get started. The first thing we have to do is over here in the back where this brace is located uh we have to remove this and there's a screw here i believe the screw right here as well uh after that you have the screw here and the screw here now for you to be able to remove these brace though you need to remove the uh riser blank and the riser blank is held in by this screw right here and this screw right here so i can't really work and hold my phone so i'll be taking this in uh, pauses so whenever i do something i will take a couple of seconds after that and i'll take another shot so this is the first stage as you can see the uh the riser blank has now been taken off and we can go ahead and continue with the rest of the brace now that the brace has been taken taken out, this is what I wanted to say. As you can see, the uh, five screws that I took off that were holding this brace are perfect enough to uh, hold down the uh, replacement brace that we have with the cutout. So this is the replacement brace. Let's go ahead and put that in its spot. Now that this brace has been installed, we can go ahead and replace the riser blank because we're no longer going to need it uh, out of the server. And after that, we can continue on to the next part. For the next stage, all you need is basically this cage with the four uh, additional screws that are, uh, have arrived with the kit. And what is going to happen is basically you're going to screw it down to these four holes right here. Uh, through the four holes on the on the bottom of the uh, cage itself. Now, because it is a little weird to uh, get through the back uh, to the back holes uh, initially, what I like to do is I like to remove this little PCB from the back so that I can have easier access to holes in the back. Let's go ahead and uh, install the uh, cage on the server right now. One thing that I did forget to mention is that these little um, whatever you want to call them, they have to be uh, put, uh, sorry, not put, but installed into this little cutout right here so that when you do put them on, just a second here. I'm going to put one in and I'm going to get back to you in a sec. So these little things, uh, they act as washers. As you can see, there's a little uh, groove in the middle of it so what it is the way that you have to install them is you have to make sure that this groove is what's going to be holding it in place basically whoopsie day man i cannot do this with one hand and just like that and then they're going to sit in in place and now that we took out the uh the uh whoopsie daisy the pcb off of the cage we can go ahead and screw it down Let's go ahead and do that right now. And voila, our cage is now securely installed in here. Now the last part, the last part that we need to do is go ahead and reinstall the uh, PCB backplane and we're off to the races. 
The last part right now that we need to do is we're gonna need to just plug in the proprietary Hewlett Packard 10 inch, uh, sorry, not 10 inch, uh, 10 pin power connector into its spot right here. Just like this. Uh, the notch is on this side. You can tell because the, uh, whatever the, th this notch is called, uh, that's used to uh, bite onto the clip right here is located on that side. So we can just go ahead and plug it in, make sure that it's securely connected. And then that little pigtail with the four connectors comes right into here. Come on. And now we have power securely. So it's up to you to uh, secure this somewhere out of, uh, out of its way out of the way of the other cable so that it doesn't interfere it's not really dangerous to keep the cable as it is all right once you have found a reasonable way to route your power and data cables and of course not forgotten to have it plugged in come on thank you we can now go ahead and do the last step which is install our data drive that's going to be used from here. One, two, uh, sometimes the top one, I've noticed that it does have a little bit of difficulty getting inside, but that's not really it's just minor alignment issues between the PCB and the uh, the housing, but I guess that's just manufacturer uh, error, but it's within tolerance. So you just push it in a little bit and it's gonna get right into its place. And that's it. That's basically the installation of the flex bay and uh, getting it set up. And now we're gonna go ahead and proceed to installing windows. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.